Hello my friends, we are continuing the King Tiger Diorama build series, but today I will be dealing with motorcycle and figures. They are equally important elements of the entire project, so this episode is all about them. The tools are ready, the batteries in the camera are charged, so let's start. I must admit that this motorcycle looks great. As a former motorcyclist I look at it with a certain sentiment. I like its massive silhouettes, thick tires and flat twin engine. For this there is also a sidecar and we have a typical military look. In scale motorcycles are small but at the same time they are a great addition to any project. They can be used as a single model or as a part of something bigger. Just like on my Su-122 or like on From Russia with Love Diorama. I started the construction with assembling the wheels because I was curious how they would look with photo etched spokes. I must admit that the solution used here is very simple and effective. The spokes fit perfectly and all you need is a little CA glue to keep them in place. It's best to squeeze several layers of the tire with a clamp and leave until the glue bins all parts well. The whole construction is not a rocket science, but you have to be very careful so that the whole thing is even. The producer is also added a few photo etched elements, but their assembly is better to check on the reference photos. Not everything was clear and understandable in the building instruction. Before my coffee was completely cold, I already had half of the motorcycle. And these are all the parts you need to use to build this model. Some elements were glued with thin glue and some with CA glue. I can even say that the most of them were CA glued together because it dries faster and in a situation when I was maneuvering the model all the time, it was definitely a better solution. In addition to the photo etched parts, the sets also include springs for the driver's seat, which are worth using because the plastic elements are poor. By the way, if you like the content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this particular situation the use of thin glue wasn't the best solution. This element is so delicate that the glue surface didn't withstand a later accidental touch and I ended up gluing this element with CA glue. The building of the front fork is probably the biggest challenge in the whole set. It will surely cause a problem to an experienced modeler. The most important thing is to keep straight lines of the parts.
The motorcycle model cannot be left without the wires as shown in the photos of the real vehicles. The biggest problem might be their proper placement so that is meaningful and consistent with reality. I used copper wire here previously heated with a flame to make it more flexible. There were no other option than to fix it with CA glue of course. It's quite time consuming work but the result is worth the hours we spend on them. Now the machine looks as it should. And now I can start building a sidecar. As the construction is simple and there is no option for a mistake, I cut out all the parts and prepared them for gluing. Now it's enough to put them all together. And this is how our end up looks like. Of course I set it on the rotating plate for filming using a blue tack, because the separated sections will be easier to paint later. So I think it's a superb even unpainted. With the figures I'm going to finish for a moment it will present a really interesting piece of modeling. Oh my god what a bullshit. Just look at the model. So now we start the second part with the figures. As I showed in the previous episode, the main characters will be the figures from D-Day Miniatures. If you want to see the exact inbox, check the link above or in the description of this movie. It takes some time to clean the casting lines, but it's not a big job. As always in the case of resin figures, such a procedure is necessary, no matter who the producer is. Then I glued together all the pieces with CA glue. It was pretty quick.
I have archer decals with insignia for German uniforms in my collections, so I decided to cut off the elements which the producer offered. Of course, not because of their quality, in my opinion it's very good, but precisely because I'm going to add the stickers there. The crew of the tank is a mix of different figures. The commander is a figure from tank models that I made before my YouTube channel area. The driver and roller are main figures from the set, slightly modified to suit the needs of the model. You can see the difference in the size of the figures, fortunately when they sit in the hatches it isn't so visible. I also prepared figures from Mantis and Alternity, but I won't use them even though they are great sets. I just miss the space on the stand. Their time will come in some other project. Each of the figures that will be next to the motorcycle is armed, so you need to add stripes for each weapon. My proven method is yellow note paper, which I form and stick to the plastic. All of the details are made of masking tape. Now I can start filling in all the imperfections on the figures. I use the black milliput for this. For mixing of the both parts I always use gloves, just because milliput is sticky and stains the skin. Fortunately it wasn't much so I did it quite quickly. I cover each place requiring intervention with a milliput and then smooth it with a wet brush. This is the easiest method. I leave it to dry for a few hours or in some extreme situations I harden it with a thin layer of CA glue. If you like this channel and want to support it, there is an option to be my patron. You can now watch the next episode ad free, have access to information about my daily modeling work and other delicious pieces. Check what I have prepared for each level of support. And of course, mega thanks to my patrons. All the figures have pre-drilled holes for a toothpick. Thanks to this it's easier to manipulate them while painting. The driver, who will protrude very little from the hatch, was upgraded with a scarf made of masking tape. I just didn't want to sweat the milliput or green stuff between the wires. Using the tape was faster and easier. I glued it to the figure with CA glue to make sure that it won't deform. The loader wears a short sheepskin coat but also a thick woolen sweater under a uniform. I sculpted it out of milliput and left it to harden well for 12 hours. After this time I used green stuff to put the sheepskin coat on the figure. For now only the main pieces without any fur on the edges. 
Spreading the mass on the figure is very easy. The toothpick makes a nice texture but you have to remember to keep it moist otherwise it will stick to the mass. It's enough to press off the seam places with a modeling knife and gently rub it with a damp brush to soften the edges of the incision. The front of the sheepskin coat and more precisely its edges I slightly bent from the figure to make it look more realistic. Now you need to add some fur to the edges. But it will be better when I use milliput for this because it has a completely different density and as a result is better suited for this task. I glued the thin snakes to the figure and after a while I started to pack them with the tip of a knife to make an imitation of the fur. It was easy but you have to remember that the knife needs to be wet and doesn't stick to the milliput. After all the work I made a thick blanket from the remains of the milliput, which I put under the figure. It's known that the steel of the armor is cold, so sitting on it isn't comfortable. I squeezed the crewman into it and let it dry. I hope that later it can be easy to turn off the figure from this blanket or together with the blanket. Likewise, I did with the motorcycle rider as he also needed a bit of refilling under the ass. I know that it won't be easy but I will leave it on the bike and paint it as a hole with the model. I set a challenge for myself so the challenge was accepted. And now I have everything ready for painting. Models built, figures too. I am happy with the effect I have obtained so far. In the next episode I am starting the King Tiger painting and it will be a bit of old school but I am sure of the results as I will follow the beaten path and follow the work I have already mentioned to you. So stay tuned to watch this tutorial next Monday. Now thanks for watching this episode and I hope you had a good time. Also remember to leave a subscription and thumbs up under this video because thanks to this my films will appear regularly in your proposals and besides this movie will be much better at algorithms. So I count on your support. That's all for today, see you next Monday, cheers!